Hi, I'm Nathan from RetroTouch and welcome to our first episode of Tech Talk. So within Tech Talk, we're going to explain to you problems that you may face at home when you're designing or setting up your smart systems and, and how we can resolve that with our products. So for example, in this episode today, we're going to be talking about Philips Hue systems. So if you've currently got a Philips Hue system where you've got your lamps installed or a bridge, but then you've still got your conventional light switch, you're going to get some problems. So for example, um, you'll have a loss of smart control, meaning that when the light is turned off, that means your smart system then gets turned off as well, meaning you have no app control or no, no voice control. It also means as well in terms of inconvenience that every time you're then having to get up, physically turn the light off and on, uh, whereas obviously if it was app controlled, you can simply do that from, from where you're sat or wherever you are. And also as well, um, uh, confusion. So if you have guests, for example, so if they, if they come to your property and then they look on the wall and then they can see a conventional switch, it means then that they're obviously gonna turn that off and on, meaning your smart light, your smart system is then not gonna work correctly. So in this one, this video, we are gonna talk about our products. So it's the RetroTouch Friends of Hue switch and why this would be used in that environment. Okay, now let's open the box and find out what's inside and let's see what problems you may face and how this can resolve them. First off, we have the switch, connection block, screws, one gang button, three mil adhesive sticker, and the instructions. So, first off, as you can see here, this is a completely wireless switch. So this is a kinetic module. And what that means is that with each click, that sends enough energy that goes up to the bridge to the system comes down to your phone telling the, the lamps what to do so that makes it a really simple solution for example if you had your conventional switches that there will be when you turn it off and on that means the system that again gets turned off and on so conventional switch if you turn the lights off then all smart bases is gone your your app control your voice control your scenes everything is gone whereas with this solution, that then eradicates that problem and then allows a permanent um, connection to, to the system. And how that's done is then with this connection block. So where you have your um, lighting uh, feed coming in, so you have your permanent feed and your switch live feed, where, where the switch, conventional switch, would have been installed. This block is then put in place, so the, um, the switch is then removed the connection box is then put in and all the cables are then put into these terminals, so your live feeds and switch live feeds. That then provides a permanent feed power to, to your lighting circuit, allowing this to then communicate with the bridge wirelessly, allowing your system to work correctly. So for example, if you then had, let's say, a bedroom where you walk into the room and you've got your switch on the wall, and that is your only point for turning off and on the lights. You then wanted, actually, I want two switches on my bedside. Now, you've got one option, which is to get someone to come and have a look and see if it's possible. We have to run the cables down, creating cavities, and then causing, um, in terms of cost. Whereas this then eradicates that problem. So as long as there is a permanent live feed to the lighting circuit, then you could then wirelessly connect two switches to each side of, of the bed using the adhesive sticker. So that will then simply go onto the back, that will stick on, and then this can then be placed anywhere you like in any location of, of the property, knowing full well that when you initiate some a click, it will then turn off a select light. We've then also done it as well, where we've provided a one gang button in the box so this means, so for example, so this actually has different forms of, of control, so which we'll talk about later in terms of setup. 
but with each press, for example, on, off, press and hold for dim and scenes and colors. If you didn't want that and you only wanted to have one simple on and off, then absolutely. So that is what has then been provided. So you could just have your physical on and physical off, making it much, much simpler. In terms of our design as well, what we've done is we've done it screwless to obviously make it a nice finish in terms of either installing into an existing switch cavity or on the wall, it makes it look nice and flush. So with the screws provided, so this here, you'd basically, using a flathead screwdriver, you would put that into the base and then that will then expose and take the face off, then exposing those two points uh, for, for screwing. We've also done it as well in terms of the buttons. Now it's again, literally the button just pops off and pops off it as well. And then the one gang, just as you see there, just a simple and then turns that into a simple on and off. Just an overview of that and just as we explained, so as you can see there with, with this, with our products using Philips Hue systems, it's a great solution changing from your conventional switches where you may have problems with your with connection turning off and on, and then this completely eradicates and resolves that problem. Okay, so now that your switch has been installed, the, the new Hue switch, let's jump into the Philips Hue app, and I'll show you exactly how this can be added to create those scenes and work alongside the, the system. So first of all, what you will want to do and, and ensure that with the switch, as you can see there, that there is an arrow facing up. This indicates that this is the right way for the um, switch to be installed. So it may be opposite for you, but in terms of if this is now facing down, that when we start that setup, you would start here with the bottom right for the initial setup, which we'll show you here on the application as well. So straight away, opening up the Philips Hue app, you may already have some, some rooms that have been created, but we now want to add the switch to this system. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to settings, into accessories, and then the top right hand corner, you'll see a blue X, you click that. You'll then see a range of other products, you know, from smart plugs uh, to tap switches, but then at the very bottom there, you've got one which is Friends of Hue Switch. It will now pop up and show you a list of, of other companies. But within that list, you'll be able to find us, which is the Retro Touch Friends of Hue switch. Okay, and now what you'll see is it says to connect and hold, press the right button for 10 seconds. Now again, as I said, making sure the switch is installed correctly, that this will be this one here. So I'm just gonna press and hold that now. Okay, so now we've got a prompt saying that that's worked. So now we wanna press the top right and the lower left button at the same time. So I'm just gonna click that now. And as you see there, we now have got a success. The switch has now has been added. So now the switch has been added, it's now asking you, okay, well, where is this switch going to be installed? Or where, where would you like to in terms of association of, of what room it, it may be? So for this one, we are going to select our music room. And then again, our right control. So, sorry, so that first one was the left button. Uh, and now this one is the right. So we're also gonna select music room as well. Okay, so it's now saying it's all set. So the switch has been added. But what we wanna do now is then we want to create those scenes and exactly what presses do what with, with the lights. So what we recommend in terms of the physical switch that the top left will be your on, your bottom left will be off, top right will be your scene one, and bottom right will then be scene two. So that'd be obviously for cha changing the colors um, uh, or changing that, that scene. And of course you can then press and hold uh, for dimming function as well. Okay, so in terms of, so as you can see here, 
we now have what buttons are going, are going to do which. So I'm going to start here. So this is our switch. So top left, this is then for room one, which is our, our, our music room. And then it says here, where, where is it? So we know it's in the music room. And what do we want this function to do? So we want to do for this one, we want to do the late on state. Do what? And increase increase the brightness. Now, as you can see here, you may be able to see as well that you actually have to, on the display for the switch, you have to physically press what you want to change. So now I'm going to press the bottom right. So what does that do? Turn the light off. Now I'm going to go to the top right. What does that do? Okay, so now let's create. So we can either do a relaxed or read. So obviously then that, that will change the brightness. What does it do? So let's leave that as is in terms of its light. And let's do, for example, let's do a night light on that one. Okay, so now that that's been added, so it should be then with each press, as you can see there, that turns the lights off. That turns the lights on. That then we've kind of changed that to a nice mood environment. And we change here where the light is, is on, but it is very dim. So that was a night environment. But say for example, like for that one, actually, I don't like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go simply go back into the switch. I'm gonna go and change. Change that scene. Click save. And then as simple as that, that one click has then change, change that light. And then of course you can then press and hold as well. And if you wanted to add that scene, that will then change the brightness. Uh, sorry, and the, the dim function with that. And then press and turn it off. So as you can see there, that is how simple it is from installation of, of the switch to setting up the switch with the Philips Hue app. So here at RetroTouch, we've made it as simple as possible for our, our users to give them the best possible solution for their home environment. I'm Nathan from RetroTouch here at Tech Talk, and I hope it's been informative, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.